Shabbat Shalom. I'm so excited to join you all here for this Pride Shabbat and to share a bit of my own story tonight. The person who stands before you all this evening has existed for far longer than I've known the words that I now use to describe myself. I am Jewish and I am butch. I'm often asked why I use this word specifically. Wouldn't masculine woman be easier? Why do I have to pick something so aggressive? I use the word butch because it is a queer word, because it is our word. Much in the way we all say schwitz instead of sweat, kepi instead of forehead, and how we all love to schmooze, but not really small talk, these are words for us and by us. Butch is by my people and for my people. It is purposely and deliberately unclear and undefined. To be Jewish is to ask questions, to rebel against the powers that be, to know the importance and beauty in a single word. Why? I am Jewish and I am butch, and these two pieces of my identity exist together not as separate characteristics, but as a single set of constantly intertwined experiences. As I've grown up, my Judaism has taught me to always question the world around me, while my butchness has reminded me that I deserve to take up space. Now, I've always been really open about how much I've struggled with my faith personally. Next week will mark exactly six years since I came out, and most days, it feels like an entire lifetime has passed since then. Growing up queer and at least somewhat religious felt impossible. I never fit quite right with the gendered language found in halacha. I knew my parents would never see the life they'd envisioned for me. I didn't know if this place was somewhere that I belonged. Enter kihila, community. A concept at the nexus of queerness and Judaism, one so near and dear to my heart. I want to tell you all a short story. A couple weekends ago, I flew to Boston for Pride. I spend most of my year there for school, and I found myself missing it, so I decided to splurge and make the trip. Sure enough, the parade makes its way down the street, and the group leading stops right in front of one of my best friends and I. A women's motorcycle club, the oldest in all of New England, about 15 to 20 older butches, all geared up on their bikes leading the charge. And though she is unfortunately at home in New Hampshire and not here to corroborate, I'm sure my friend would agree when I say that I just about lost it. I was dripping with excitement and joy and pride. I'd found my people. The very individuals who made a day like today possible. Who made my standing up here and delivering this devar to you all possible. I'd found people who taught me how good and beautiful it is to not fit quite right, to rebel against the powers that be, to find comfort and solace in who I am for all that I am. See, through my queerness, I was able to find my way back here, to this community, to this synagogue, to this faith, one built on revolution and resilience, on chofesh and ahava, freedom and love. Kihila, community that transcends time and space. In my Judaism, I am home. Even when separated by hundreds of miles, I am family. I am welcomed with open and loving arms no matter what. I am connected to a universe of people who love me. It is my Judaism that allows me to feel welcome and at home anywhere and everywhere. In my butchness, I am aligned with queer people spanning generations, many having fought on the front lines of the AIDS epidemic. In them, I see my history, everything that I get the... Pr In them, I see my history and the war they fought for me to be able to live a life of peace. In them, I see my future, everything that I get the privilege of being. So yes, I am Jewish and I am butch and I am so proud to be both of those things at once to be a part of such beautiful kihila, kidosha, sacred communities. I hope this pride can continue to teach us all the beauty in community and family, in kihila that transcends time and space. I hope we can all leave this pride Shabbat feeling a little more connected to one another, 
and a little more in awe of the queer community. Shabbat Shalom and happy pride. Continue with me, Kamoka, on page 46.